Mary Flannery O'Connor, published under the shortened name Flannery O'Connor. She was a 20th century master of the short story art form, and she was also known as the hermit novelist. She combined her Southern roots and experience with her Roman Catholic upbringing to create stories that are consistently shocking and hilarious, and sometimes bloody. She was born in Savannah, Georgia in 1938, though she spent most of her life in the much smaller Georgian city of Milledgeville. Her parents were from two of the oldest Catholic families in Georgia. Her father died of lupus when she was just 15. This disease eventually would claim her life as well. She began her literary career while at Georgia State College for Women, now Georgia College and State University, where she served as editor of the college's literary magazine. Her early works of fiction and essays, as well as a few poems, were published in this magazine. She also provided cartoons for this magazine, as well as the campus newspaper, the yearbook, and the walls of the student lounge. She was extremely shy, but used her writing to attack pretentiousness and triviality with a wicked sense of humor. She earned her MFA from the State University of Iowa in 1947. After graduation, she worked for a time at Yado, an artist's retreat in Saratoga Springs, New York. Then she went to live with devout Catholic friends, Sally and Robert Fitzgerald in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Both venues gave her the solitude and peace she needed for her writing. Sadly, lupus, the disease that killed her father, struck her in 1950. She was forced to move back to Milledgeville, where she lived on the family farm with her mother and helped to raise peafowl. She continued writing until her untimely death in 1964 at the age of 39. In addition to her many, many short stories, she also wrote these two novels. O'Connor's shock tactics, dark humor, and the violence in many of her stories earned her some criticism, but she also won critical acclaim and many literary awards, including the National Book Award. O'Connor's works are often set in normal everyday life, in places like a doctor's office or a family home. She portrays in a vivid way human sinfulness and the need for divine grace. Her characters are self-professed Christians who violate the basic precepts of Christianity. Amidst the struggles, she portrays the search for God and for the truth. She features characters who are poor economically, emotionally, or both. The characters' interactions with each other reflect the soul's struggle with what O'Connor called the stinking mad shadow of Jesus. She reflected in her work her perception that, quote, the good is under construction, unquote, in our world. 